Okay, hi again. Uh, we are into the last two sections or parts uh, in EDU 5523. So, uh, for case study, it consists of Part D, implementing your learning session, and Part E, analysis of learning after implementing the lesson. So, let's have a look at D1. Have your students acquired the kinds of learning that you intended? How do you know they have acquired or not acquired them? So you have to reflect on um, your learning session and then uh, write on, uh, along this line um, whether your students have acquired the kinds of learning you attended and also how do you know? Okay, How do you know they have acquired and how do you know they have not acquired? So this is a case study. So that means you have to go into your classroom and uh, implement this and then find out how you can uh, know whether your students have acquired or they have not. For part D, what other strategies do you employ to measure your effectiveness in executing uh, your design in achieving the intended learning outcomes? Okay, so for that, it's 300 words. Uh, what are the strategies? Do you employ the the, the keyword here is measurement. How do you measure your effectiveness? What do you do? What are the tools that you use to measure the effectiveness uh, of your design and to see whether your design actually achieve the intended learning outcomes? All right. So for that is two hundred words. Now for D three, describe the limitations that you have to work with. Uh, how did your design overcome the limitations? Now, limitations here is not uh, the issue that you have written in earlier. All right, uh, here limitations is the limitation uh, in your design. So, can your design actually overcome those limitations that you you anticipate? All right. Uh, so, if let's say uh, you are doing group work but the classroom uh, sorry uh, the venue is not suitable so that is your limitation um, and also uh, can your design overcome the limitations so if that's the case so how do you overcome that problem do you take them elsewhere or do you let them uh, work outside the classroom etc 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 300 words for this now, in part E, uh, analysis of learning after the implementation of the lesson. So, E1, how have you analyzed the learning session you discussed in D? Again, you have to use cer certain uh, ways to analyze. Okay, how have you analyzed the learning session you discussed in D? So, if you have done part D in your class, um, how do you analyze the learning session. Uh, how do you know that it's successful? How do you know that uh, the activities that you you wanted to implement or you plan um, uh, has been effective in helping your students to learn in understanding uh, the lesson, so on and so forth. All right. Um, and then for E two, what issues did you experience and how did you deal with them? Uh, issues here. Uh, refers to anything apart from the design all right so what are the issues that did you experience um, and the most important thing is how did you deal with them e3 what have you learned about your learners learning in this course after implementing what you planned in D? Um, you have mentioned earlier for example about multiple intelligences so how do you see your students here after you have implemented your lesson plan, uh, taking into consideration the differentiation, um, addressing the multiple intelligences uh, the best that you can. So what have you learned about your learner's learning? If you're using MI, for example, does this actually help the students in understanding, in learning, your lesson or does uh, or am I doesn't bring anything and does not uh, bring any difference 
So these are the things that you need to discuss in E3. Um, and, and some of you, you might have other things uh, about your learners learning, right? Um, that is 300 words. Now, the last part is E4. In teaching the course, what have you learned about the strengths and weaknesses of your teaching? So you can list it down. One, two, three, strength. One, two, three, weaknesses. Right, but I need evalu uh, elaboration on your strength and elaboration on your weaknesses because uh, you need to know what are your strengths and your weaknesses. So for part E, reflection, for part D, um, or any other parts, it, it is advisable that you work closely with your mentor. Okay, so that's all from me. Um, all the best. See you next semester.